Welcome to the next video. Soon we will perform a lifetime calculation for your collar. With this tool you can estimate how long the battery of your collar lasts regarding all components your collar consists of. For the calculation you need the current info file and the latest invoice of your collar. You will find the info file on the CD which we delivered with the collar and the invoice was sent by us via email. With these two files we have everything we need. So let us start to proceed the lifetime calculation in GPS plus X. At first open GPS plus X and click on tools in the menu bar in the top left. Here we have calculate color lifetime and calculate vertex color lifetime. And in our case, we will perform a lifetime calculation for a vertex plus color. The frame consists of the output frame and the input frame with its different tabs. And at first we type in the, the deployment date, the date when you plan to deploy your collar to the animal. Then open the info file of your collar. You will find it on the Vectronic CD, which is delivered with the collars. I already highlighted all information which are relevant for the lifetime calculation. The details may differ. It depends on the features your collar has. In the red boxes, I wrote what I have to transfer to the calculation. So let's start. We have a Vertex Plus collar with Global Star Communication. The GPS skip count says zero. So under position transmission, the skip count is zero. I have an advanced acceleration sensor with a sample rate of 16 Hertz. Start and end time of the UHF communication is already 0 to 24. The collar also has a beacon and here are the beacon settings. And the proximity transmit mode is off as well as all external sensor receivers. So I don't have to tick any box on the right side of the screen. Now we can move on to the GPS schedule tab and here you can see the GPS schedule of your collar and in the tab you can create the schedule manually. For this we just changed the start date as it is written, so the 1st January of 2000 and also the end date. So we just read the schedule aspects from, from the info file and type it in the schedule in the lifetime calculation. So, and the offset is zero, duration one, and the fixed rate stays the same. In the beacon tab, we can do exactly the same. Here we also just check the information in the green box and copy the information of the beacon schedule file. So the start date, the end date, and the information about the sequences. Later on, I will show you an alternative method to load the schedules right into the tab. Now I have all attributes except for the battery type. This is the only attribute which is not in the info file, but in the invoice of your collar. Check the latest invoice in the description, you will find the battery type. In my case, it's a Vertex Plus 3 color, so the battery type is 3D. Now we are nearly done with the inputs. The last thing you should know is how to copy the schedules directly to the calculation without creating them manually. For this, we open again the info file of the collar and scroll down to the GPS schedule.
Here we have the GPS schedule and now we have to copy this part of the schedule. And now we open a new notepad document where we can paste the schedule which we just copied. So now we have to declare this as a GPS schedule file. So we save as, not as text format, but as a format which is, which is compatible to the software. And this is the VGSF format. So the vertex GPS schedule file. So we save this one. And in GPS plus X, we can load it right into the screen. So we can close this one. And in GPS plus X, we click on load. And here we can see again that only VGSF files are accepted. So here's the file and now we have the schedule in the calculation. We can do exactly the same with the beacon schedule, but the file format is now the BSF, so vertex beacon schedule file. This is the only difference. So we again open the, the info file of the color and scroll down to the beacon schedule and copy this part of the schedule. and open a new notepad document and just paste it into it. And now we declare it as before as a schedule file. As vertex beacon schedule file and press save and we can close the notepad documents. Now we can open the file which we just created directly via the software. And we can see that only the VBSF file is compatible. So we open it and we can be sure that it is exactly the same schedule like on the collar. We don't have an external sensor receiver, so we don't need a schedule for that. From this point, we filled in all the inputs so we can start the calculation. In the output frame, we see main battery lifetime and beacon battery lifetime. The beacon has its own battery due to the reason that if the main battery is dead, you still can track your collar via VHF tracking. The number after best, average and worst case is the time how long the GPS modem needs to attempt the fix and average. That depends on many aspects. For example, it needs more time to attempt the fix if the collar performs in the forest than in the open countryside. There are countless aspects which influences the battery lifetime of your collar. So even if the calculation displays a specific number of days, you never can rely on it 100%. I recommend you calculate with the average case or even lower. So approximately my collar has a lifetime of 1000 days. The very last step is to save the lifetime calculation for documentation on the computer. That was the tutorial for how to calculate your color lifetime. If you need further assistance, don't hesitate to contact our customer service. I hope you've learned something and thank you for watching.